welcome to another episode of Now You Know Vi. See, I had to say it by myself because I have a new guest. Not not <laughs> a new new, but new to the studio new to guest. The studio. Our city clerk, Courtney Hansen, is with me. Hello and welcome. Good morning. So from when we end, you have to say it with me. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. So we'll have to practice a few times. Yes. Uh, so good to have you. Thank you. We're going to get in, in your brain a little bit yep. and talk about your favorite topic. <sighs> three weeks today, three weeks three from weeks today, from I today. heard it from you earlier, and we're going to talk about all things election. Yep, it, it is so much fun. It is so much so fun. Much fun. <laughs> yep, so we've got a primary election, August 6th, um, it, getting ready to gear up for November leads right into it. So, you know... I, I thought it would be fun just to have some dialogue. Um, fun, I guess, being the operable <laughs> word. But very informative, if you if you wouldn't mind, too. Because I am one of those that I follow the election more closely because of you and your team and our city clerk's office and the impact it has on your workload, your day-to-day -day operations, mm -hmm. et cetera. Not so much as what's going on out in the world, right? Because... Right. Um, I, I know how to vote, et cetera. But then you and I start talking and I'm like, this has changed. This has changed. This has changed. We're watching right now, um, or we, we are aware, maybe not watching, but we're aware that the Republican National Convention is occurring. The Democratic National Convention is coming up in the next few weeks. Why, what, why is there an election in August? I, go, I don't know. Yeah. I go, so I, I, that's the ignorance, right? Like, it's okay. I, I'm confused. Why doesn't everybody just vote in, in November? So enlighten us. Yep. So primary election, the point of it is to narrow down the number of candidates that will appear on the November ballot. So we are mailing out absentee ballots to voters right now. And the races on there are... U.S. Senator, Representative in Congress, Legislature, County officials, um, Circuit Court Judge. Not presidential, Not which presidential. is at the forefront of all the media today, exactly. right? Yep. So it's the other races that we're looking at a primary for. Yes. Yep. Just to narrow down there we to go. put on the ballot for November. And it's funny because we're mailing out all these ballots and people are receiving them saying, I asked for the November ballot. But as you know, those candidates haven't been formerly okay. applied for the ballot. So the ballot, the, the anyone that is going to vote in the uh, August election, yes. which is August 6th, yes. uh, Tuesday, August 6th, um, it is a primary election for what Courtney just shared. Um, I, I, I'm saying local, but it's like state, state offices, state, state county, county et cetera, mm -hmm. offices. Um, the November will be a general election. We'll have you back when we talk about that because there'll be new um, opportunities and ways for people to vote uh, mm -hmm. again this year. Let's talk about that. That's a great segue. Yeah. Ways to vote. Like Times have changed. I mean, I remember, <laughs> and I know you do, mm -hmm. being a young kid in elementary school and having to go stand in line with your parent. And I, I, me thinking... Why didn't my mom do this while I was in school? Why am I standing here at six o'clock at night? You know, but she thought the lines would be less, et cetera. Times have so changed, yes. right? Um, and they've even changed just from the traditional, as we know it, absentee voter, mm -hmm. where you had to say you were assigned and say you'd be out of town or unable un to vote right. on that day. There's so many more options. Yes. In the span of the last four to six years, mm -hmm. elections have just turned upside down okay. um there are so and many ways to way. vote for, yep for a good uh, yep. yep it's all about accessibility so mm -hmm. you have three ways to vote essentially you have the traditional absentee voting where you mm -hmm. fill out an application receive a ballot in person or okay. in the mail those ballots get stored and counted on election day okay now we have early voting which is the big one this year so nine days of early voting for this election it's july 27th to august 4th um and hopefully we have a big turnout. Okay. Um, it's it's a big production. It's nine days. It's staffed for nine days. And that's here. You and don't go to your poll, right? Right. It's not your traditional precinct. Um, it's here at the Civic Center, down the hallway in Event Quarter. Mm -hmm. And it's open 830 to 430 for those nine days, except for that Thursday, August 1st, is noon to 8. So people 
come in after work. Okay. Yeah. So we hope people utilize that. So early voting, absentee voting, and traditional Mm in-person voting day of on August 6th. Um, The precincts are open 7 a.m. to 8 8 p.m. 7 a.m. So 13 13 hours hours. of a voting opportunity that day. But to your point, Courtney, if you don't want to come, you're worried about lines, you don't, you, you do want to vote in person, you can come nine days ahead. Mm -hmm. And And on top of that, you can apply for an absentee ballot, receive it. You can fill it out at home and you can bring it to the precinct in early voting or election day and run your ballot through the tabulator yourself. Okay. So that's added this year as well. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Um, I'm going to put you on the spot because you might not know, because I know, um, we were, you and I've shared and talked about this before, we were a test location for the early voting yes. a year ago, maybe almost. November. Yep. Uh, last November. And I, the numbers weren't, they, right. They, they could be better. They could be better. Um, they weren't what we would have expect, expected, right. but it was the first time it was a test location, etc. Mm-hmm. We did, we have, we done early voting again. Yes. And the numbers were higher. Unfortunately, no. Oh, no. Yeah. So for our local November 2023 election, we had about 531 voters come through during the nine days. We had early voting for the February presidential primary. We had, I believe, 482. And then we had a small May election just for Wild Lake Schools, which is the north end of town, only six precincts. We only had nine people or oh 11 people 11 over people. nine whole okay. days. So oh my goodness. We can do better. Oh, we can do better. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, and it's the same election workers, right? Yeah. Same, it's mm-hmm. our local election workers that work that um, the polling location. And like you said, it's here. Anything of importance we want people to know other than to obviously exercise their right to vote, yeah. you know, and, and come out. There, there's no excuse for you not to vote. In person, (laughs) absentee, early election, like there's a way to get here. Definitely. Yep. There's 40 days of absentee voting. There's nine days of early voting and 13 hours on election day. So there's options for everyone. The one thing um, that's important for this August election is because it's an open primary, the ballots have a column for the Republican Party and a column for the Democratic Party. And the important thing is you have to stick to one or the other. You can't. You cannot cross vote, so okay. they say. So that is a, a big cause for confusion for voters because this is the only election it happens in. Why do I think in other primaries you've had to pull, you only got one or the other? Is that correct? That's a closed primary. That's, That's what a closed February primary. was. Okay. I okay. Know. So I knew I didn't dream that up. Like, so <laughs> no. there was no, uh, no chance for mistake. Like, correct. This is what you got. Yes. You either had to choose one or the other and vote accordingly. Yep. But this ticket, uh, this ballot, you have to stick to stick one to column. One or the column. Other. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So it's a lot of education telling every single voter we encounter, okay. make sure you stick to one party or the other. Okay. Yep. Oh, but then anything, it's a free for all in November. Th- then it's a free for all. <laughs> That's true. Then you can, you're right. Then you can pick whoever you want mm-hmm. in whatever columns. Uh, anything really important. I, I can't say it enough. Vote. Please, <laughs> please come vote. Come see Courtney and her her amazing team of election yes. workers. Um, we, I know we, I was going to say we, you, we, the city, couldn't do it without their support, their right. dedication, um, because it does take a village. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We hire anywhere between 175 to 300 plus workers. So anyone who's interested in the process, anyone who has questions about the process, mm-hmm. I would love for them to come work because I can show you how the process works, how secure it is and how, how fair it is. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, applaud you. My hat's off to you. I wish you, um, all the best the next several weeks and then a nice long vacation following which will be well deserved and then we'll come back maybe in October you and I and we'll talk about because then um you know we'll be able to share the successes of the early voting and encourage people again how easy that is and and the dates etc for that how to get an absentee ballot and all those good things yeah Okay. Sounds I remember good. I, gosh, it's been four years that I worked with yes. you on election night. Yep. I uh, volunteered our, our time and it, it was a very interesting experience. Yes. Yep. So, and, and, and you know what? I, I think you can't say enough the fair, open, transparent process. Um, 
And anybody that questions that, I, I encourage them to reach out to you, your team, um, and come si see how we actually do it in mm -hmm. Novi because everything about board. Yes, absolutely. Good. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. And again, good luck. Um, no excuses. August 6th is the primary in person, early voting or absentee. All the information is on cityofnovi.org backslash elections. elections. And there you have it. Until next time, now, now you know, know why. Take care. <laughs>